Hello? <sighs> Hello? Uh, Finally. Finally. God damn it. All right. Hmm. Okay, I'm back. Now we're just waiting for it. Everyone's rolling initiative. Uh, it's initiative time for floor one. So yeah, I uh, have to use. Did that work? My I did something. My only source of internet is one of those uh, Verizon I tried hot using spot the thingies. Hello? Hello? Hello. Are you, Are you alone, alone here, or, or is there there everyone here? here? Wow, your voice is echoing terribly. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, I joined another call with him, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's... Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, did someone end the call? Did the macro work? When I dropped... Hello? 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 What is going on right now? Uh, right. We're waiting for Nick. Everybody. Someone call Nick back? Because I just that, see a phone by his name. That was the weird you know, thing. It had two calls going in the same Yeah, exactly. Thing. What yeah, no, that's a Skype glitch. If if you're restarting okay. it and it, re it doesn't register as it, so it opens just another call, it happens. I need to remember what these things' initiative is. Uh, so who's who's calling him? Is whoever's in charge of the call need to add him back? Like, he should just join it. So. He should just be able to join. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel it. It's really hard. It's really the worst. Luckily for you, these guys are really freaking slow. I tried using the initiative macro, macro but it... You need to like have Richard. your token selected. Oh. Oh, shit. No, stop! Oh, he's, don't he's, don't accept that. Yeah, I, <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hello. Hello. Did anyone actually join his call? Oh, there goes Patty. Okay, everyone's gone. Hello, can Hello? you hear me? Hello? Hi. What? Okay, what call are we supposed to accept? Because I've got two of them going on right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Nick is calling everyone, so that's screwing up Skype. Yeah, that's screwed and, up Skype. Okay. Everyone Patty leave. accepted that one. Okay, everyone leave all your calls for fucking doing this from the top.
stuff yet. Yay! Fire spirit. Oh no 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 no! Um, I'm channeling the fire spirit. You're channeling your fire spirit. Okay. Yeah. So um, because of that, I now have uh, nine body, ten agility, five reaction, and eight strength. Okay. And um, as soon as it, I channel it, I uh, use a service to. Uh, activate its um, energy or a power. So now my melee attacks have plus eight fire damage. All right. Um, oh, and we've got erotic in the call now. All right, everyone hey. ready? Cinder, kill some zombies. Get those zombies. With Dillard, gusto. Dillard, so, gonna. This a zombie? Or. Oh. No, this is this one. A this one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna charge it and hit him with my sword. Do that. Did it soak the damage we did to him? Yes, this is my dice pool. I'm waiting. Um, I only keep seven of those. All right. Ah, oh, I forgot. <laughs> you get those many net successes. He was already half damaged. It really doesn't matter what he does. Okay, to so. but I want to tell you. <laughs> That's great because I really don't care because we already lost an hour of time. Mac Tear, your turn. Oh, no. <laughs> you can tell how you killed the last guy. Uh, I shoot one of them. You should do it. That was my damage. Uh, where am I on the initiative? I got 22. Oh, did you uh, not? Did you not use the macro? <sighs> I used the macro, it. it just didn't do anything. Yeah, you have to select your token. Duh. Yeah, I rolled up there, like, just a little bit up there, 22. Matt, can you still go first? I believe. Actually, right. I, think that, I think she does, but either way, I'll just shoot them. Doesn't matter. I shoot this one. Alright, you do. It takes 15p minus 6. Yeah, it's dead. Mac moves up to here. Alright. Next. It would be Sweet Cheeks, I believe. Do it? Yeah. She moves to, uh, let's say about here, take aim and shoot at the zombie? Do it. Or whatever the hell it is. Uh, I only keep four of those because, you know, physical I move four. Uh, no, no, no. You use your accuracy. Oh. All right, and I keep all of those, I think. Yep. Damage code. Uh, yeah. Uh, eight uh, P minus five. Yep. Zambi is dead. That was a pretty easy combat. Welcome to Fortitude. Hey. So let's walk over to the lady. The lady is going to back. Oh, no, we're not. I'm not getting into blade though. <laughs> Who's going to talk to her? The lady backs up onto the wall, or the pillar. Uh, what does she look like besides just a lady? Like, is she wearing... She is wearing a fairly nice business suit. Well, all the physics is going on, Ganga will reload her uh, uh, Crusader and with APDS. All right. Oh, 
What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if Kalbrun is going to be uh, talking to her, uh, Sweet Cheeks will move to about here and, you know, look around. Yeah, I'm being, like, cautious because who knows why there's a woman in a business suit down here. Mm -hmm. um, so in English, I'm like, ma'am, are you okay? And if she doesn't respond in English, then I'll switch to Arabic. What? She does respond in English. But are she you, does? Okay. What are you doing here? Who's here? Uh, first? Well, <laughs> uh, we're here to. Well, I mean, out of character, screw it. If, if things go badly, I'm assuming we're either just going to stun her or kill her anyway. Oh, after what happened up top. Um, we were, we are a retrieval unit. Um, are you okay? Like, that's what I say. I'm like, we are a retrieval unit because it's technically what we're doing. We're retrieving yeah, something I'm, that doesn't I'm fine. I, what, how did, how did you get past? Most, most of the guards were dead. Um, yeah, that's, that's exactly how we got Past most of the, when we got in here, the guards were dead. Like there weren't any more upstairs. Uh, I'm going I'm to ask my uh, fire spirit the uh, the fire spirit I'm channeling to a sensor. You can just also roll it. I can do. Okay. okay. She's awakened. Okay. And, and six hits is going to tell me pretty much damn. Pretty much everything I could find out via. It is sensing. everything, unless it's, it's everything. unless she is masking, and she beats your masking roll, which is pretty damn hard. Oh yeah, she is. Uh, you get emotions and stuff, right? Yeah. No, yeah, she is terrified. Diseases, emotions, diseases, uh, magic writing initiations, Tokai, yeah. all of it. She's not a technomancer. <laughs> Any, uh, oh, yeah. any <laughs> magical effects on her? She doesn't have any currently. And she's not awakened or no? She's awakened. Okay. Okay, so she's asking about the guards. Um, if she's terrified... I don't know, man. I'm not going to sit there and say they let us in when we're running around with guns and then we come back out and they're obviously they didn't let us in. Um, Plus she's awakened, so like... Wait, uh, what is her magic guys... rating? <laughs> no, we are not doing that! What Next. is her magic rating? Her is five. Five, okay. Um, I'm telling her like, uh, well... Like, there were guards outside, and they had the door locked. Like, I'm being very cagey about exactly how much I reveal. <laughs> Do I see anything here? Like, are there zombies? Are there walls? Uh, yeah, I'm going to reveal the whole room. There's another 50 zombies. Oh like no, some ponies. Ago. Nope. Alright, that's the room. Like, on there's just wall to the side, or does it just stretch out? Nope, those are, it's, just, it's a small room. You're underground by this point. So. There's another stairway leading down. down there is there. another stairway leading down. Yeah, so when she's like, there, were there more guards? I say, well, there, were, there are guards outside. Wait, wait. You guys aren't... Working for the company, right? Uh, no, we are not. Tent? Well, listen, I'm a researcher. I, I just, uh, I, I work on the magical artifacts we uncover. There is something wrong in here, and we need to stop it. I was coming down here with the team. I, I convinced them that we could. That they're all dead now. No direct loss, but give away to something wrong. A fucking walking dead coming out here to eat your face off? That's great crocking it, lass. Uh, 
Do you, do you mind telling me what your friend is saying? Uh, they're... Speaking God's fucking English, aren't I, Lass? Um, right. So, basically, what we're saying is, we, we came in, there were guards, none of them looked like they were making an effort to come in and rescue anybody. Um, so, I really don't know if you were left down here to die? Or if you were left down here because they thought that you guys were going to take care of it? Um, I don't... I was just down. I just came down here about an hour ago. They were fighting off those things for a while, but... I mean, I can... I can, I can do a little magic. I went invisible. But... That didn't work for long. And you were you were hired by Sanko? Yeah. I don't think there's much of them left, though. Please, I don't care what happens anymore. I'm going down there, and we're destroying that thing. It's uh, the Scarab statue, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, what exactly are you trying to destroy here? Like, I say that in character. As I'm trying to, like, get more how, information out of her. How did you know? That's the thing we were hired to come get, and that's how it always fragging works out. Well, yeah. I don't care what you do to it, but if it's out of here, I think we should destroy it, though. Can I come with you? Uh, I'm rolling Judge Intentions on Oh, yeah, and I'm definitely rolling a... Uh, uh, UCA wall. Go ahead and roll. She's being sincere. Over DNI, I'm like, eh, she seems pretty sincere about getting our, our uh, target out of here. Uh, yeah, I... 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 Secure the three fresh corpses. I put one in you, each other's heads. Okay, we got it. All right. They're all dead. Huzzah! She uh she winces each time you fire around through her former friends' heads. Well, she's not gonna like the scene that she sees back upstairs on the sand, <laughs> with half of them dead. So she can get used to it, I suppose. Um, and are you guys moving down to floor three? Yeah, let's go. All right. I'm like, I'm like, man, this uh, we'll melee probably... person in front. No, no, no. Researcher yourselves on the stairs. Researcher in front. I'm telling her that we're going down. If she wants to come with us, she's more than welcome to. Um, but we will be keeping an eye out on on everything. A.K.A. also any shenanigans she might okay. try. She is going to follow behind all of you. Did Tinder's three hits on magical threats get us anything? On uh, magical threats? No. All uh, right. She's not. You are all entering us. a rating two background count. Uh, well, I'm. I will try to stay, stay behind the lady. I am so glad I upgraded Lasher to a force four weapon focus. All right. You've lost two of your dice on that. And uh, you're going to be suffering dice pool modifiers. I'm not sure the interaction between channeling and background counts. I'm dual natured, so oh, yeah. um, background oh, count penalty to everything. Oh, yeah. My long arms. I'm going to actually just turn up all my foci. My focus. Yep. Okay, so I only take modifiers to my unarmed attacks and my initiative now. All right. Position yourselves on the stairs. Uh, I think we're all positioned. I don't know if you want to move the researcher woman down over by us. Yeah, Max putting her in front right here. It's a position of honor. 
Hey, can you put she the She is lady following in? behind all of you. I want to be behind her. I really don't want an unknown. She is standing at that, that point on the stairs. You can position yourselves around her. You can try to forcefully move her. What, what, what point is there? We're all still on the second She's floor. She's still next to the column. Yeah. yeah. You didn't change us to a... Oh, didn't... I forgot to change you. Oops. I am special. <laughs> there you go. I, I thought I changed you guys, and then I never thought to check. There you go. I know how Roll20 works. Don't judge me. Alright. Well, that's where I am. For right now, at least. I imagine the flames engulfing my body should provide illumination. Very little illumination, but illumination nonetheless. A match stick would be enough to light the room up for me, so, you know. This is what you can see right now? Is she just stopping? She is waiting at the top of the stairs, looking around really nervously. Uh, I'm going to ask if she has a name that we can call her by while we're in yeah. this barrel glass. Uh, my name is Kelsey. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try <laughs> squeezing between Mac and Cinder. Alright, you are always still piled on the stairs. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm not, I'm just like trying to squeeze between them. Damn. All right, I'd say you're small enough to do that. What is my mental limit right now? It, it's uh, it's high enough right now. What is it? Um, I keep all of those. Okay. Did you take the minus two from the background count? Yes, I did. All right. I keep all those. You guys can see there are clearly footprints all around this room. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I can keep four, but I, I basically see the same, right? Uh, Patty, they are all weaving in and out between the pillars. Where do they stop? Behind the pillars. Can we not see behind the pillars currently? No, you cannot. Can I go right here? Can I, I see over here? Cautiously step over here. Roll initiative. <laughs> I was going to throw a light stick after asking Kelsey if she ran into anything else, but... The room lights up. All right, what did you roll? Uh, gun roll rolled 18. And all of the others didn't use the initiative macro. I hate you. <laughs> all right. Hey, okay, this time that. I used it. From the t Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, sweet cheeks, initiative. What did you get? Tell me. Wait, I'm trying to work the macro. You have to click on your token, and then you click the initiative button. Yeah, I did that. Didn't work. You're doing it wrong. I, I click my token. Click the initiative macro. Do I do slash roll or just no? Click the initiative macro and then type it in. Yeah. So three d six plus nine. No, 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 right? no, 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 no. Just type like in that. You just type in the dice? dice and then you type in the modifier. Okay. Yeah. Except I rolled twenty six before, so let me fix that. that. Yep. There you go. Sorry, this just makes it a bit easier for me because I don't have to keep retyping and everyone. Which one things. is the initiative button? The one that says initiative. One. <laughs> you have, Wait, to, you have you? to activate. You have to activate the macros. So if you go into the little gear box at the top of the chat bar, whatever it is, on the right hand right. side, 
and then cl check all of the in-bar macros that are applicable to your character. Yep. Hashtag initiative will work. All right, Patty, what was your original initiative? And Sweet Cheeks. Okay. The last one. It's 25 okay. that I rolled in chat, but 22 is in the initiative tracker? Uh, right now you're at 25, because it's not showing you up in the tracker. It is. It's a Sweet Cheeks. No, no, it's 25. Uh, he wants you to click your icon and then use the initiative macro. Yeah, uh, but what do I type into the macro? 3d6 plus 9 or what? You just no, no, type no, no, in just 3. 3 for the number of dice, click OK, then uh, the bonus uh, 9, uh, then into the thing and OK. Like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Sweet Cheeks did their initiative. It's going to modify that to be correct. Mac here. Mac is going to go over here. He's going to take aim. And he's going to shoot someone. All right, dang it. There's only one person on that side. All right. Shoot him. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's kind of wrong. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> he dodges. <laughs> you doing anything else? That'll be it. All right. Cinder, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to charge this guy and smack him. Roll it. I keep all of those. All right. Okay, so that's going to be uh, 25p at minus 5. All right. Fire, right? Yeah, fire damage. Oh, it's fire damage? Yeah. Oh. From a weapon focus. So if it has immunity to normal weapons, it'll it's bypass that. It just took f 15 physical damage and it's yes, still it did. Wow. All right. Sweet Cheeks, your turn. If it, it's pretty much up by one box, but it is still up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Um, now have it... Uh, roll oh, sorry, I was talking again, to uh, Have it roll its armor against uh, the damage... Uh, against the damage dealt to avoid catching on fire. Sure. Can I, like, how far can I move from where I am? Because I assume I can't see anything from, like, where I am. Oh, uh, what is your movement rate? Uh, uh, this board is one to one, so. One Each to one. box is a meter. Eight. Movement 12 slash 24. Right. Cinder, I don't remember the rules for fire damage, so feel free to tell me when it burns to death. Yep. Uh, 
I can't actually see anything from here, so, uh, can I, well, can I ready an action and, like, fire when I see some, one of the zombies move out? Uh, sure. Sure, I'll do that then. All right. Kalbrun. Okay. Do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, are there any zombies in line of sight from where I am? No, there are not. Okay, then I'm going to wait and see if any zombies come towards me, and then shoot them in the face. Okay. <laughs> Young girl. Hmm. Okay. Da, 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 da. One, two. Yeah, I can move over here. And then this guy gets a bolt's eye burst. Well, Fire yeah. it. And it's minus four. Thirteen. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, thirteen. See, now I really want to bring Fury on a run with Cinder and just have everyone get lit on fire then hit with swords. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Are there any modifiers for that? I don't believe there are, because it's a bullseye. Uh, it's minus one burst fire. Alright. Short burst. Defender wins size. Ah. All right. It's that guy's turn. He's going to make a charging punch at Gun Girl. Wait, he can... Oh, wait. I need to bring Rule out. Oh, yeah. Okay, 15. All right. Let me check this guy's stats, because I keep forgetting them. I'm a good GM. All right. Uh, that will be... Okay. He's gonna pounce you. I'm gonna deploy full defense. Take your full defense. So I'm taking this as yeah, that's a direction plus intuition. It's nine. Oh, and I get nine extra dice because I forgot to add them. Roll your nine so. extra dice. Defender wins dice. <laughs> it worked. All right. It is not because his initiative dropped to eleven. But you know, I'll just go through all of them. Cinder. Yep. He's gonna try to pounce you. Uh, also, actually, yeah, he's going to try to punch you. Uh, I Dang see it. this guy now, right? You absolutely do. Sweet. 13 dice. Well, it's not your turn. Yeah. Did we... Like, you can hold an action to fire someone. Oh. Oh, that's right? what you did? You did? Yeah. Okay, you, okay. Defender wins ties. I'm saying that a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just, yeah, I need to do the same thing. I'm just trying to figure out right, what happens to when sender. you shoot. Defender wins uh, ties. Ooh! <laughs> But that means it's a glancing blow, which means he did make contact with my yes, currently on. So yeah, I have played so, it with charge before. I know how this works. <laughs> yep. Okay. So that's um. Yeah. He's so he's soaking uh sixteen p at minus eight. Fire, right? Yeah. It's it's always fire damage with Cinder. 
Yep. Yeah. You so, poor that guy. I love auras so much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Cinder. Trying to hit me again? No. Better. Now I just need to make sure I'm reading these rules, right? All right. Roll your charisma plus willpower. All right. Wait, you have a spirit possessed me. You have really good charisma plus willpower right now. Wait, hang on. Challenge. You are in the background Challenge. count. Uh, and that will apply to both your charisma and willpower. Yeah. What? No, that's not how it works. It applies to dice. Yeah. Pulls. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that'll apply to your fatal dice pull then. Uh, I just need to check something. No, that applies to. Uh, this a. Uh, it doesn't apply to tests like that. Is this mana or physical? This is not an attack. Yes, but is it a mana or physical effect? I will have to check. Because depending on what it is, my dice pool is either going to be awful or amazing. This is physical. Thank you. What? Rerolling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's much better. So yeah, nine hits. Oh, no, you got quite lucky. All right, and then what else is he going to do? That's Can he do that? Probably a complex action. That was not a complex action. Never mind. In fact, he's going to do it again. That he can't do. Oh, you can't do it twice? Okay. It's that's technically an attack. All right. It's yep. Offensive action. That's case. all he's going to do. That's yeah, an offensive action. What's the same thing? Yeah. yeah. Zambi's moving up. Mac, it's your turn. I guess Mac is going to sling his gun, walk forward, and punch the zombie in the face. Now, here's the question of the day. Because I have Spear Claw active, will that affect this thing? That is a great question that I actually don't know the answer to. It is in a physical body. We never did roll like perception or anything proper on this, did you we? You did not. Well, no. we did roll magical threats. Cinder did that. No. But That's just, a just knowledge just... skill. What uh, what happened is we came down here and then uh, we got attacked. So yeah, this is standard fare for Mac that he turns on the spare claw to hit things because it doesn't actually cause you any drain. Sure. Yep. I keep all those. Nope, you hit him. One that success. So it's either 11p if Spearclaw does do damage, or it's 8p. And I actually don't know. Chat! Chat! If it's a spirit in a physical body, does Spirit Claw work? Spirit Claw increases damage against spirits. Period. Then it will work. As, uh, 11p. Any AP value? No, but it resists with just... Like, it doesn't get to use armor. Or maybe it does the physical body, I guess. Like, oh, yeah, magic, 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 magic well, ignores if, its armor if it's from magic. Yeah. If it's, got, uh, if it's armor's from immunity to normal weapons. It's not. It has actual armor. Then just 11 p All right, it takes four. It's done. Is that all you're doing? That's all I can do. Cinder, kill yes. this son of a bitch. 
with gusto. Do you even care? Uh, yeah, just roll your attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I keep seven of those. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. He can't really do that with his... <laughs> no, don't do it with the sword. Do it with your fire. What do you think the sword is called? Yeah, Lost Air is Gaelic for flame. All right. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Gaelic for Gusta, though. Sweet cheeks. <laughs> Do a thing. Like, I, am I at a range increment, or can I just, like, fire from there? Uh, uh, what's the range Short, weapon? five. One, uh, You're 14 meters away. Bang bang! Do your bang bangs. Uh, also take aim, so it's 14, yep. 86. I think I've discovered Cinder's ultimate weakness. I only keep four of those. A room filled with flammable materials. What's your <laughs> really... accuracy on the gun? Oh no shit, yeah, accuracy, no, might I keep all of those. Yep. I really do need to have my physical though. Yeah, you really Defender do. Wins you, ties. you learned that on Wednesday. <laughs> I love that I keep having to say this. All right, Galbrun. Well, since uh, up, oh, I could not be on that. Since this guy is still up, um, yeah, I guess I one hit so far. This is yeah. great. I'm gonna take aim and then blam blam. <laughs> Do it. Anyway, that is. You hit him, one that discuss. Rad. Too hype <laughs> for that nine physical. <laughs> Alright, he takes three physical. Gun girl, you don't get to go. It's this guy's turn. Gun girl get wait no, uh, gun girl already took full defense. Actually. Yeah. You can take He is sentient, so he isn't dude. gonna he actually is smart. Wait, he's sentient? Oh yeah. It's got spirits in it. Or something. He is going to attack Calbrun. Too hype for zombies. Wait, it's it's gonna move? Yes, you can take your attack. Um, yes, I'm going to take an interrupt action at minus five to make an attack against him. If I hit, he does not move. No. I'm going to take one. Oh, wait, I can do it. No, you cannot. Two, right? You're out of initiative, Gwen. You're out of initiative. No, I, I took full defense, but I still got a move. I had 18. What? You're at zero. Right. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, right. I'm at zero, sorry. <laughs> ah. Try to keep up, man. Dude, it's 10 a.m. for me. It's three oh, it's 3.40 a.m. for me. It is late, 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 late o'clock. I hit it. It does not move. It takes 13p. It looks more annoyed. Can it still attack or no? I don't know off the top of my head. I don't. I think I, don't. I think it just stopped its movement. Yeah. Go and get punched. It's not gonna punch me after I punched it. No. It can see it's sentient. It can see that you're a way tougher opponent. It's gonna go for the weaker prey. <laughs> Weak. <laughs> Zombie, Ooh. I'm offended. I thought we were friends. I can't believe you think I'm weak. The full defense still counts, so, though. Yes, the full defense still yeah. counts. It lasts for the entire thing. Yep, you defend. Boom! Alright. Now I need to look up the rules for this. 
Ah, uh, where is it? Ah, uh, no, this is in Cork, actually. Apologies, uh, this is the first time I've actually used these guys. Uh, just get ready to resist stuff. Because that is what's happening. Uh, again, apologies, I am a fairly new GM. I haven't memorized all this stuff yet. And Roll your willpower plus logic against a mana action, Cinder. Let me think. Uh. Wow. <laughs> You really want to stab Sweet Cheeks right now. Or do you? <laughs> no, he, he really does. Get compelled. Ouch. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, just going to look something up real quick. You want me to post it into the Skype? Or into the uh, chat? Uh, no. It's Too late. To, what? That's what's happening. Oh, no, no. I'm looking up uh, Ed, uh, rules on Edge. Um, if I can uh, uh, post Edge push the limit to add my edge to the roll after uh, finding out that that wasn't enough. I don't believe you can. Yeah, I think you can only do edge before you know if it's a success or failure. Alright, so, sweet cheeks, this is gonna hurt real bad. Yeah, everything hurts sweet cheeks real bad. <laughs> like, looking at her bad hurts her real bad. She might drop. He almost got killed so, by a pig in one hit, though. Yeah. Um, it's not your turn yet. Yeah, that's what I was like. Actually, okay, so it, it is my turn. I'm at the top of the initiative. Oh, yep, now you are. That, uh, yeah, yeah. I need to reorder this. So yeah. I roll dodge? Yeah. Um, bright side, I only keep seven of those. <laughs> you may want to add to this. Pre or post? You may want to call. For, you may want to do full defense and <laughs> and edge. edge. All right, full defense. I don't know what. Add your you willpower. Add, you add your your willpower. Oh. Um, do you have too pretty to hit? No, but Get I'm it. getting that after this run. <laughs> yeah, that lets you add your uh, charisma instead of willpower when on full. Defense. Cinder, are you liking this run? <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'll post that shit, fuck it, right? Yeah, uh, post. Technically, this isn't hurting me. <laughs> Except, you know, emotionally. High threat means high threat. <laughs> I'll post that just well, you know. Yeah, just I would because. recommend that. Oh. Jeez. That is a crit glitch. Uh, no. No. On edge, it doesn't it's, do anything. It's, it's oh, expanding okay. the dice pool, so, oh, okay. so don't worry about that. All right. So okay, so that's going to be a twenty-six p at minus five fire damage. So <laughs> you're kind of just yeah, burning might... edge right now. Yeah, I think I'm burning edge right now. <laughs> Like, I assume I'm just out and drop one edge, right? You might get really lucky on the soak roll. Yeah. Really, okay. really, really <laughs> lucky. That's you body plus armor. burn edge now on the yeah. defense test so you don't take a negative effect from going down. 
Yeah, you could burn yeah. edge on the defense test. So what does it mean, no negative effect for him going down? Because if you get, if, yeah, because if you got hit by this and you burnt edge to survive, you get a negative effect from, you know, basically like surviving a car accident. Right, so if I pre-burn edge... I just you burn edge on the defense, you're just burning an edge. And you're, and you're not taking a negative effect because you're not burning edge to survive. Yeah. Okay, then I do that, but I still roll soak, right? No, nope. you dodge. No, you dodge. Cinder, you suddenly You're feel... burning edge to smack down on the dodge. It's an automatic, meaning you automatically succeed on the dodge. All Cinder, right, you but... suddenly feel like a terrible person. Hey, he didn't Ooh. even hit me. You just took a swing at your teammate. You don't even know what's oh. going on. Just, oh. But you do oh. know that whatever happened, that wasn't you controlling yourself. Something was making you do that. Oh, you guys are going to love the next room. Okay. Um, it's your turn, Sweet Cheeks. Um, can I am dropping my Iris Predator. Uh, taking up my street line special and firing it at uh, Cinder. It what? has it has narco jet in it. It's not. Why would you do that? Why, why do you want because, a narco jet? Because Cinder just charged her with a sword and tried right? to kill He's her. Still, fucking stop metagaming people. <laughs> yeah. It looked, plus, like I figure it. It's more than one action? I don't know. It is one action, but you don't know that. Eh. I usually tend to figure if my teammates attack me, it's because of some magical bullshit, so I go find the magical bullshit. Well, that also makes sense, I guess. Center, dodge it. Yeah. I assume he just dodges that That's four hits. <laughs> Blocks it with the sword. Ding. I can't parry bullets, unfortunately. Um, you forgot to. Well, actually, you were since shooting I'm not a. So. Yeah. What? I forgot what? Well, not really. Kind of. He's no that, longer actively engaged in melee with yeah, you. So, so, yeah, so you don't get the penalty. So. Um. All right, sweet cheeks. What were you shooting? Um, mm, capsule rounds with the MSO and Narcojet. <coughs> Burst edge. All right, he's edging. You can do this. Nice. All right, you dodge. All right. No, nope, not dealing with that. You take doing any free actions? <laughs> As a friendly GM recommendation, I recommend you call out to center with the free action. You don't have to, of course. Alright, you're not doing anything? Okay. Jump it. Um, I'm going to take a free action to pop my spurs. Alright out of my hand in case things get really, really bad. And then, <laughs> damn it, zombie bro who thought I wasn't tough enough, I'm shooting you again. All right. Funny thing is, it doesn't say that there's any action related, um, associated with uh, extending spurs. I'm just... Yeah, I, I know. I guess I would say it's a free act. It would be a mental action, so I'd say that's a free action because that's, uh, that's pretty much what every action like that is. Yeah. yeah, usually it's also it's usually part of the combat, so of the of the, yeah. of the melee attacks. So. <laughs> Zombie bro does not like you. Zombie bro, I thought we were buds. <laughs> Mac. Yeah. Your turn. Your zombie bro is also alive. All right, so I will. 
fuck, I wanted to go shoot the other one, but I will punch this one in the face. Punch it. How many times? Is, oh, oh, never mind. It's been attacked a couple times, so I figured it'll have its It's own. been attacked a lot of times, and it's dodged most of it. Pretty much anything that wasn't you. Has, it, has its defense gone down? Its defense it's, has gone down by one. Okay. Well, I mean, because it's being attacked multiple times in the same round. Oh, yeah, yeah. It'll be taking a penalty. Hey, I hit it once, okay? <laughs> oh, my God! It touches. <laughs> Guys, taking out the entire camp upstairs by myself took a lot out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> All right. Does it now think I'm weak, Ray, since I like just totally like flopped at it, just like flailed my arm at it? Uh, it's gonna be doing something. I, I think you forgot shit. to reduce initiative in the last pass, at the end of the last pass. What? Yeah, I thought, oh. I thought that the zombies should oh, yeah, I know. so... Yeah, so the zombies should oh, yeah, be out of initiative now. Uh, so it is now. It should be back to me. Okay, so I'm assuming that you can do it, this Cinder. zombie. I'm assuming that this zombie right here is the one that uh, mind controlled me. That would be a assumption. Yeah. So fuck that guy in particular. I'm charging him. Do it. Are you still uh, channeling? Oh yeah, yeah. Is that sustained? Um, it lasts until the spirit goes away. Okay. And I've only used up two of its four services. I keep seven of those. Maybe you get one net success. Huh. Okay, so that's uh, 23p at minus five. Yeah, it's dead. This this guy doesn't have much in the way of armor. He he literally cannot resist that much. <laughs> but his life was worth it. <laughs> All right, sweet cheeks. Cinder just charged yes. you, swung at you, then ran back at the guy who was originally going to fight and killed it. You have no idea what's going on anymore. No, oh, I really don't understand the whole magic thing, like, in character. I have no idea what how that works. So, uh... My gun is on the floor. Uh... <laughs> yeah, hmm. I guess I'll holster this one and pick up my Ars Predator? Alright. That's about it? That is all you can do. Yep. Gal. I'm like, oh my god, zombie, die. This is terrible. He doesn't Listen, love you. We are cuddle buds. <laughs> you know what? I'm going with it because I'm saving my edge he for the floor. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want him as a pet? This is the best zombie. <laughs> He's a very good zombie, but I don't think he obviously is very bad at listening to me, is what I'm getting out of this, so. You, you guys didn't even try talking to him. Spirits are sentient. All right, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> is it like minus three now? He dodges. God <laughs> There, I'm talking to the zombie. What does it say? Yes, roll initiative. Well, see, there you go then. <laughs> Shit. I'm rolling really crappy yet now. Uh, so was I. 
Are you guys putting in your initiatives? Please do yep. that. Using the macro. I did not do that because I figured I was going to one-hit this thing. <laughs> Have I mentioned that this is the best combat ever? I like the part where I um where they uh where all these zombies I'm hitting have to soak upwards of twenty damage. Oh I'm gonna like the part Hey, me too. <laughs> I like the part that you made it to make burn edge. <laughs> 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 uh, Mac, Mac, you want to put your initiative in? Not really. I rolled 26. I'm going to want to hit this thing. Just leaving me. Okay. Just I rolled 24. I still go first. Okay, roll it. Aha! Dude, I don't even have a dad, and I'm pretty sure I must... You hit it! <laughs> What's your damage? 12p. It's still alive. <laughs> yes. My turn. I charge it. I keep Should seven of those. Movement for that? I have 10 agility right now. Oh, okay, yeah. Jeff, and with charging, you can... Yeah, yeah, no. You can zip around the room. Yeah. <laughs> what is with this guy? Okay, he touches. I told you, zombie, <laughs> zombie is a kung fu master. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> he hits on ten dice. <laughs> that's not a kung fu master. That's a master of this is a normal zombie. He can manipulate probability. Okay. <laughs> Go. <coughs> your turn. All right, I'm gonna shoot it with the gun. Fourteen dice and uh, bang bang. Boo, bye bye. Yeah. Hit him. Yay! What's your damage code? Uh, 8p minus 5. So, with the net success, okay. he's dead. <laughs> the face got Aww. the killing club. Oh, come on, I wanted to finishing move him. The face that has 12 dice in pistols. So I think Max said something about seeing which the two of us could get kill more zombies. Max killed zero zombies? Yeah. <laughs> and I got three, I think. Uh, you got... Yeah. Max the face killed more zombies than you. Alright. <laughs> that was the best combat ever. <laughs> I much preferred the earlier combat where I killed everything. <laughs> Zombie Actually, <laughs> I got one more on the previous floor, so I'm at four now. Zombie bro is going to forever live on in our hearts. Okay. I'm going to cut its head off and kick it across the room. Yeah, so how, like, how's Kelsey doing now? Is she, like, looking evil? or is she, Wait, like, are you actually going to cut its head off? Yes. Yes, I love you. What's a knife's resistance? What? Object and resistance. Nice. What's an object resistance? <laughs> uh, that's probably <laughs> going to be like six dice. And that's the knife gun. Oh, damn it, it doesn't possess your knife. <laughs> what? Uh, I'll explain it after. <laughs> the spirit doesn't move into your, into your knife. You don't have a haunted knife now. Damn. It would have been cool to have a haunted knife, actually. The researcher yeah. is going to approach you. Dude, I would think that the knife would probably be pissed at you, though, because it's possessed with the spirit that you tried to kill, and it would just glitch on you all the time. 
Oh, did All you right. want to cut this sandwich? I think you're gonna cut your hand off instead. All right, the uh, frail elephant woman. Okay, you successfully hit a field goal between two of the pillars. <laughs> With the zombie head. All right. The uh, elephant woman. <laughs> The I'm fist. sorry, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you over the sound of all the zombies I've killed. Well, that's really weird. They're not making any noise now. All right. The, the <laughs> other woman in the business suit is going to do a you guys. Did you, are they all gone? Might be well, more. There was four of them down here. Uh, we haven't gone down the rest of the way yet, though, so... Well, logically, there were three on the floor above. There's four here... There's probably Everyone. five on the floor below. I don't think it's how logic works, sweet cheek. <laughs> Everyone, everyone be on guard. <laughs> said the said the guy with logic too. All right. <laughs> Unless we're, this is a matrix game, sweet cheeks. I don't think it's how it works. We're we're getting close. I can feel it. Uh <laughs> wow, that's not ominous. I'm sure you two can feel it too. She okay. points to Mac and Sender. Do the stairs start over here or over here? They start in the place that isn't against the wall. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> that makes more sense. Oh, I, got I'm a, the f I got a four on my visual perception as we walk down to make sure no more zombies are like, hey, you guys, what's going on? You don't see any more zombies, but what you do see is in the, in the piled in the corners of the room are bodies. So anyone want to go cap them, or uh, is that I'm not going it? to uh, poke them and light them on fire. That is a smart move. And I off we go to the next floor. That was a head from when I kicked it. I need to go grab... Uh, what? You <laughs> cut out. I'm assuming grab some water or something. And then no, sorry, I was grabbing your tokens. Oh, never mind. There you go. Up into the next floor. You are now on a rating four background count. Oh, fuck. Dude, magic is fragged up here. Yeah, I mean, centering is a really good meta magic, just saying. Uh, that'd be adept centering. Adept centering, yes. You would use adept centering. Yeah, I'm, yeah adept centering. Then or get it, it's, it's good. <laughs> Oh, wait, actually, knock off those last two dice. Five hits. All right. Uh, actually, what's our light source? Oh, no, well, cinders and... We got flashlights, cinder... Flashlights and glow sticks egg. and a glowing person, you know. I'm going to reveal yeah. the room. We've got enough light to light everything up. In the middle of the room is what can only be described as an altar. There are bodies on it. There are piles of bodies all over the room. <laughs> I'm going to do something to make you very upset. Oh, what is that? I'm going to throw HE grenades into the piles. Feel free how, to. How many grenades? HE grenades. Oh, okay. I thought you said 18 grenades, and I was like, <laughs> how did you get that through customs? How are you going to survive the, the back blast from 18 grenades, and then you are in an underground enclosed space? We come back with, like, yeah, dust. But Here's the room is big enough that we're not going to get uh, chunky salsa. Yeah. You may want to ask everyone to stand back. Nope. Are you, are you going to walk up, plop a grenade in each one, or are you just going to toss it? No, the I'm going to toss Dunger won't move. That's for the it's back one. Seeker. It explodes in a pile of gore. Oh, no, no, no. I don't blow them up yet. Oh, okay. They're all wireless. <laughs> There's no deckers here. You're throwing them in and not blowing them immediately. They're Wait, get, your like, grenades are on wireless. Well, then. No. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the undead. Decker. No, has An a undead decker. decker pops from the middle of the <laughs> altar. All right, everyone. Packing your earlier. shit. All five AC grenades go off. Everyone, <laughs> you're dead now. <laughs> no, no. It's so 40, ple 40, 40 physical, please. AP minus 12, I believe. It's like if you, if it's on person. 
I totally could have made an undead decker, but I didn't actually think that would ever come up. Okay, now I'm going to blow them all up. They ex the room explodes in a giant amount of blood, gore, limbs, heads. Calbruna tooth smacks you in the cheek. Dude, I'm totally rolling my uh, composure. <laughs> you are all covered in blood. Man. I'm point. intentionally at the top of the stairs until we know what is <laughs> down there. I'm scared now. Everyone who is at the bottom of the stairs, you are now covered in blood. I'm a fruit seeker. I don't care. It's cool. <laughs> I, uh, I actually made my composure check, but I'm still like, what did you do? <laughs> As I'm just wiping blood off my ballistic mask. Well, do you guys want to enter the room now? Oh shit, I have a ballistic mask in my bag. <laughs> Should have put it on. Head on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say assumed competence. You were already wearing it. Oh, no, I don't have one. What the this hell? This is a high threat run. I'm not going to assume competence. I'm putting on armor. No, apparently I don't have one. Okay. You guys have a room now. Oh, first of all. First. Call breaking. Because I could use the spirits to add Senator, that. I think you're my new favorite person to bring on runs. <laughs> <laughs> you're my pet. You're my pet mook. <laughs> oh God, Sweet Show, you still on jazz? You might have run out of jazz by now. Well, I uh, really okay. I popped it when we were at, you know, driving in, and then we just kind of drove in. Yeah, no, you're fine. In character, it's only been like five. Mm -hmm. Ish minutes, five to ten, I think. Yeah, from did you, not roll, did you not roll duration when you took it? Yeah. Uh, no. You need to roll duration. So fourteen minutes. It's actually going to be four forty minutes. Forty minutes. Yeah. Oh, you get forty minutes on it. It's it's like ten minutes. I should do cocaine. <laughs> That's not going to help you. Like, there's blood all over the place, except for Sweet Cheeks. And the researcher just looks behind her in horror as Sweet Cheeks is, like, just snorting Nova Coke off her wrist. With her bloody drink. Oh, my. Oh, oh, no, oh, not oh, bloody. Oh. I didn't and get she, hit. Also, if she does it, she has to throw a drug into action, and then it gets funny. Oh, yeah, if you're going to take multiple drugs at once, I'm going to have a field day. Oh, Jesus, I'm not actually going to do that. Oh, okay. Is everyone back? Is, is, the, is the robot gone? Uh, pretty Beep. pretty much robot Boop. free on my end. All right. Uh, actually, it's fine. The lady's you know. gonna approach you. Clearing now. It's through the next room. That's where we found it. So are we yes. just gonna leave the altar? Are you? Uh, not, wait, it's not, not it's not in this room. No. There's a giant stone door at the back of the room. God damn it. So... Matt, pee on the altar. <laughs> the altar I... and everything in the room is currently covered in blood and gore. Pee on the Dude, altar. I That's think he could desecrate it further, though. <laughs> do you want me to roll real secret? I do. 
because oh, you suggested shit. it, you have to roll that. And I'd do it myself, but you're the only one here with a penis. <laughs> I believe you resist the urge to pee on the altar. <laughs> to mark your territory. You know what? I will fail that to get the plus one to my initiative. And I will pee <laughs> on that goddamn altar. Alright, Kelbrun, a um... The room just exploded in blood. Some stuff hit your face, and now, and now, Mac Tear is peeing on the corpses. You know, I don't. You know, just why? Why is it that half the time guys are either hitting on me or flashing? They're done, you know, I just I'm done, and I just look the other way. <laughs> done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how you kill zombies. I saw in The Mummy 2.5, you're supposed to, like, make out with them or something. What are you doing? Don't be on the altar. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Hey. Oh, you just it, man. <laughs> well, thank you for that, Mac. Is anyone else doing anything? Um... Wait, how did you resist Frusika again? No, he chose to kill her. I don't know. What do you draw to resist Frusika again? It's, uh, I believe oh, it's God. Composure. Curse no willpower? Oh, it's Sweet Cheek's normal. gonna do this too. Uh, do what? Uh, do <laughs> oh, no, sorry. No, that was, was uh, uh, Gun Girl. No, Gun Girl, it's uh, Curse no willpower, right? I believe so. Yeah, it's normal, it's normal composure. Okay. Resist making out with corpses. What? <laughs> you okay, brought stop, it up. Please. Okay. You brought it up. No. You brought it up. Don't make out fault. with corpses. That's how you get ants. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's how you get AIDS, not ants. Same <laughs> difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're fine. You know, it's like. Okay, I think that's the part where I get to tell you, okay, you're a ghoul now. Only if, they, if, only if they, they were infected with it. And then I had to resist the, uh, the strain, so... No, at that point, I think I get to say, no, you decided to make out with a corpse, you don't get anything. <laughs> yeah, that's the point where I say, yeah, you know. Um, okay. Anyway, so it's... So Gangro, it's basically yeah, just like, ah, oh, making so. out with corpses. And then, then it's just like her mental image, like, showing it. And it's like... Yeah, so it gets slightly green under her mask, and like, Ugh. and then it's proceeding as normally. Right. <laughs> While Mac is pissing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you guys doing anything else in this weird <laughs> room? <laughs> okay. I mean, the I'm altar is obviously one. magical, so... Uh, uh, muscle, go do something to the altar. I'm, it doesn't I, I'm slowly, it, okay? I'm slowly approaching it. Right, it and smells of visual. blood, rotting corpses, and urine. What do I see, my... What do, what do my... What the, 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 what I like how no one has ever tried to perceive or sense anything. No, this is a fun I did. Sensing cost me a service. I ascend. I saw background count. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to look again. I could, I could throw up. Dude, you should look again. And technically, I'm astrally perceiving at all times, but I don't right now, but I don't have... Uh, you don't actually I don't have, have any purpose. points of the ascent <laughs> skill. Okay. Yeah, you could have your spirit go for you, but. But that costs. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know of that if you're if you're getting hard on like zombies and background. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't mean that kind of awakened. You tr You start to ascent, and you are hit by a wall. Of what you can only describe as terror. Oh, is that what that is? It's coming from the next room. So if we check in enough 
of grenades. Technically, we weren't supposed to bring it out whole, just as long as we bring it back. He at did least say he wants it whole. He wants yeah. it whole. I think but... I think he'd prefer if we didn't bring it in like a pulverized, pasty powder. Technically, that he just preferred it whole. So, like a lot of grenades would make this a lot easier. <laughs> Yeah, but also... Remember, he did have fun picking up all the stone fragments and dust. I do not want to blow up this dumb relic unless we absolutely have to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you guys moving over to the doors? I uh, am no. slowly. I, I, I go slowly. Wait, did we... I'm not a noob. Did, are yeah. you going to do something to the goddamn vault door? <laughs> I'm going to walk up to the doors. The the scared looking elf lady in the business suit is following Cinder. Cabrun, you see a lot of a lot of body parts. Probably uh, stuff that shouldn't be out. Uh, There's a uh, few mangled bits of cyberware. And it's really a mess. When I uh when I notice her following me, I'm going to uh stop and say um and tell her to keep her distance. No. It's in the next room. I have to. I have to be there to destroy this. It's killed all these people. But when she says that, I'm putting on my shot glove in case I need to, like, put her down unconsciously. <laughs> okay. I send a DNI ma message to Mac to uh, take a look, um, to uh, sense her again. Are you going to use a... Judge intentions? Do we do that? If she, she, looks exactly, she looks exactly the same as Cinder described her. Can we like? Can I or you know, someone like roll judge intentions if she's suddenly being you know all kinds of creepy or if she's still you know shell shocked? I guess you'd call it. Whoa! Are you narco jetting her? Yes, I pull up. I pull up. Pull oh, up. I love you guys so much. Uh uh. Are you he not, has to make a surprise. You, do you use com does anyone have common sense? Actually, no, that's not a common Okay. Okay. She wants to out of anyone, out of Cinder, anyone that you would roll know. your logic plus willpower. No, she has to make a surprise check first. I just shot her. Um, yeah, she... Oh, I'm not sure you know what you're dealing with here. Uh -oh. Unless the thing doesn't a have a physical body... Okay, what is the surprise check? Uh, perception threshold 3, I believe? No, uh, it's no, it's, it's reaction, reaction plus, plus intuition. intuition. Yeah, sorry. Threshold Make threshold. Check. Let me get this up. Oh, I love you so much. Uh-oh. Right. I have a feel... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You sneaky motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I... I know. I I, I remember you know exactly what what's did. about to happen. Yeah, she was the I, orb all along. All right, what is it? It's <laughs> reaction <laughs> plus intuition. But the power was in her. Yeah, reaction plus along. intuition. <laughs> okay, yep, now she gets I, to dodge. I fucking knew it. She dodges the shit out of that. Cinder, you know what time it is. Mana effect. It is. Same effect. Haha, -ha, but I'm in cover now. Well, that, that makes one of us, because I was in the <laughs> process of moving forward. And like, hey, how many people did you send down here? And then it became uh, narco jet time. So <laughs> Mac was not believing of this woman. Mac also thought it was time for her to take a nap, in case she was a nice person, so she didn't have to see all the bad things we were about to do. Oh, there are so bad is things. it uh, uh, is it obvious that she's the one doing this to me? You can make a magic. Well, she's the only other one in the room. She's the only one in the room. Okay, burn edge smackdown. Let's do <laughs> <Yeah>. this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now, roll initiative. Alright, you burned edge to not get mind controlled. Yeah. 
Congratulations, you were the first GM on the hub to claim Edge from any of my characters. All right. Fucking hell. To be fair, that is entirely Patty's fault. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this probably would have happened anyway. Oh no, I had a whole thing and you just decided to shoot her. <laughs> Wait, why didn't it go into the initiative <coughs> initiative tracker? Oh, I had to bring it up. Whoop. All right, what did you roll? Did you roll 17? Yep. All right. I need to see what all of you rolled. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's, it's all set. Oh, my God, Mac. Ah, uh, this is great. Max, like, I'm all about this combat, and I'm like, I love combat drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah. what did you roll, kind girl? 15? 15, it's already on the checker. I rolled fucking terrible. Alright, that should be everyone. Now for uh, her. I, oh, I don't see I'm, Cinder. A, I'm at 20. Cinder, what do you got? Seeker. 20. Um, I got uh, 24. Oh, wait, no. 22. Forgot about the background count had gone up. She goes first. Holy shit. <laughs> Cinder, you know what time it is. Wait, Cinder, do you have any edge left? Um... Well, that really depends. I had one point of edge left before I burned edge on that smackdown. I don't think it takes an available edge. I think it can be a spent edge. Okay. I only think that, though. I think it's GM Fiat, though. Spending an edge but it's, it's something else than spending edge? Right. I'm just going to just get all my stuff lined up. Give me a second. You guys can talk about strategy. Welcome to the boss fight. Welcome to the boss fight of Spooky Town. This is not how I expected it to go down, but I'm sure it will be entertaining. Uh, you didn't get me into the initiative tracker, so reorder it, please. You are. You're at 24, right in the initiative tracker. Yeah, but it's not in the right order. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, no. Two of you. Where are the two of you? I only see the one. I only there, saw the one. Yeah, there was only one of me. Uh, I'm. Uh, and you just deleted it. Okay, I have no idea what's going on now. I see you in the initiative tracker. All right, just do your thing again. Put your token back up. I'm very confused. I am very drunk. Yes. <laughs> yeah, twenty-two. Yeah. There you go. All right. There. Okay. Let's see. Without edging, that's five dice. I can pre-edge for eight for seven exploding dice now. So probably be better to post edge. I am not very good with the mats. Give me one second. I need to grab something. Where I should have pre-edged. <laughs> I got three sixes. Oh, that would have been nice. Uh, ah, good. Street Grimoire is so confused. Yeah, let's be fine. This quickly. Where is it? Oh, wait, no. I'm stupid. Give me a second again. Alright. But you know what? Actually. Ah, wait, it's too late now. I will let you if you want. <laughs> I mean, uh, really... Seize the initiative. There you go. Go first. I you 
She's going to use an edge. Shit. She dodges. Wait, it's a glancing blow, right? Yeah, so aura. Alright, sure. What's your aura's damage? Uh, let's see, for a melee attack, um, that's just going to be, uh, 8p at minus 8. Alright. I need to pull up her stats. Uh, I did not expect it to go down this way. Luckily, she's not marrying much in the way of armor. She sucks it. All right. This is, yes, it is magic plus charisma. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, <laughs> you have a chance. Defender wins dies. There is a hiss as you feel your mind grow heavy, but you're able to push back against it. It is baring its teeth at you. It doesn't. It it's still in the. It's still inhabiting this body, but it barely looks human. Anymore. All right. It is Max. Mac will move to here. Mac will take aim. I keep all those. Nice. You gain two net successes. 14p minus six. It takes four stun. I'm okay with that. That's pretty good. It's at a minus one to all its rolls now. Gabrun. Okay, I'm just gonna uh whoop. Move here. Actually I don't know if I want to move there. It's right next to a freaking uh altar there. Um Don't worry, I peed on it. Nothing can come to life there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I wanna be by now. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm gonna move there, in case I need to make a retreat, I'm at least a little bit closer to the door. I'm going to take aim, and I'm going to fire, because this is bullshit. I was trying to be nice to you, Kelsey. I was trying to help you out, and this is what you did. Well, to be fair, there's nothing saying that you wouldn't have been able to talk to her if someone on your team can shoot at her. Yeah, this is also true. I was trying to build a rapport with her, and that didn't work. Remember, they are sentient. Yeah, but sentience don't mean good. Or say. Score hit. Hey man, I was trying to be, you know, nice to the zombies too, and they were like. And yes, it was successfully masking against all your all your sensing attempts. Even the one that got six hits. Oh yeah. I'll tell you what this is after the game. I have, I believe, I know what it is, and it's fucking terrifying. It's probably exactly what you think it is. I mean, I saw your, I saw your post. Oh, yeah, Nvidia. yeah, it's that. Nvidia. <laughs> okay, I'm going to send a DNI message to everyone telling them to uh, um, clear away from her. All right, it takes 
Three more stun. How clear away? Well away from the bl upcoming blast. Sweet heat. Yes? No. Uh, I'm being told to clear away from the blast, so... Okay. Or don't. That's not you. Sweet cheese, that's not you. <laughs> that's her. I know. I'm... 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 Oh, okay, you're... Distance. Believe me, if it's what I think she is, she can reach you anyway. No, it's for whatever Cinder is going to do, that's why... Yeah, I'm not going to get hit by Cinder and... Uh, take aim and fire. You are probably at some negatives if you're using holdouts for that distance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no I'm not using holdout. I'm using, uh, Ice Predator, but yeah, I am at minus one here. Because Iris Predator gets a minus if you're further than five away. Yeah. Mm. All right. She dodges. <sighs> no, aren't you going to say... Defender wins dies. <laughs> <laughs> this has happened so many times in this run. It's not funny. All right, gang girl. It is Yeah, funny. so this will be... Um, um ba, 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 ba. let's uh, take aim take aim shoot and uh, uh, uh pre etched. Do it. Fuck. Seven successes. Actually, let me see. Oh, yeah. It's going to pre edge this roll. It dodges. Back. And then slowly backing away. Backing away. Slowly? Kessley has a lot of edge. All right. Can you guys all type in your own initiative, or do do I need to drop them all by ten? I'm not sure if I enabled those permissions. Uh, I can type yeah, them out. We right, can. Yeah, we Drop can everyone by ten. And give me one second. All right. Cinder, it's your favorite time. This again. It's going to keep doing it. It's the best thing it can do. Oh, man. There you go. Oh, my God. Eh, fuck it, I'll burn another edge. Really? Okay. Alright. And uh, then I'm going to hold action for uh, Mac and uh, Kel to get out of the way. Alright. Oh, I, oh, I believe Mac, I know. That's your true. turn. Back, you're muted. No, I was just typing. All right. And I left my AK back. Ah, so frustrated. <laughs> Tender wins dies. <laughs> Take one more shot, and then I'm going to move back.
Cinder, I think she kind of likes you a bit. Start talking to her. I'll say something to her. Um, but first, um, Cal did just shoot her. I did. All right. Uh, uh, how many penalties does she have right now? She has a wound modifier, and she is taking penal continuous penalties for being shot at a lot. You hit with one that oh, Yay! Better than nothing. All right. She takes no damage. Okay. I'm going to move over here. This is your delayed action? Yes. Right. And as um and now um as a um because I'm channeling a force eight uh spirit of fire, that means I'm using its magic stat in place of uh my own. So I'm going to overcast a Force 16 Fireball. All right. Oh, fuck. Roll it and don't kill yourself. It's rolling. It's rolling. Hang on. Stupid internet. <laughs> now I okay, need to remember how scattered. color spelling works. It scatters. Um, Remember how counterspelling works. No one really knows how counterspelling works with indirect AoE spell. Yeah, oh. I'm just not going to bother. Um, so, yeah, it's going to scatter. Uh, so. Oh, crap. Eight. Uh, eight. Eight. So, okay. Does someone have the scattered track? Uh, uh, um, eight is uh, to the right and behind. Uh, 1d6 minus hits meters. So, yeah, either way it happens, she's going to still be in the 16 meter blast radius. The question is, are you in the 16 meter blast radius? No, it went, it went past her. Okay. You said behind and to the right? Yeah. The right is towards you. Yeah, but to the no, behind no. is here. Relative to the face, my face. Ah, okay. That makes much more sense. So, yes. like, over here. All right. Yeah. Tell me that yeah, damages right. and then take that drain. So that's going to be 16p at minus 16. All right. And uh, that's going to be... Uh, 13 dr uh, drain, I think. It's going to be stunned, though, so that's nice. Since I only got two hits. Oh, my. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the corpse explodes into fire. <laughs> Okay, so that's six stun damage. Uh, it only ate two edge. <laughs> I will tell you what that was after the round. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. I love it. <clears throat> but not a whole lot can stand against a Force 16 fireball. <laughs> At least Generally, crit, most things don't stand against the 416 fireball. Yeah, at least you didn't crit glitch or glitch itself. Yeah. That would have been very bad. <laughs> yes. Okay, can I open the door? You absolutely can open the door. One sec. I need to make sure this room is ready, because this room is going to be different than how I originally thought it was going to be. Cal's moving carefully this entire time because this is all just not going how she thought it was going to go. I mean, you know, she's expecting zombies and mummies and stuff, but... The room is perfectly lit. By okay. what? Torches? Yes. 
and her stole it. The room. Um, background count still minus four. There is no background count here. Cool. Did it drop away as soon as she died? As soon as you went through the door. Oh. Oh. Okay, so what do you see, my elven eyes? You see a bunch of coffins around the side of the room with bodies in them. There's a few bodies on the floor. Mm -hmm. Right, getting to work eviscerating and them. There is a coffin in the middle of the room. I'm not going to make you roll to cut off the heads of the corpses. While simultaneously setting them on fire. Oh, okay, that works. All right, there is a like, large... Yeah, this this stuff would make an archaeologist just faint in horror at what we're doing here to these uh, mummies, but... The smell of Fuck burning it. corpses, both fresh and mummified for thousands of years, is horrifying. I've got a gas mask. I don't give a fuck. You yeah. should wear your gas mask. Yeah, no, I've had you will actually be taking a penalty to actions if you are not wearing a gas mask. No, I've had my gas mask on this whole time. Right, yeah, like it's, like when we came in here. If you are having, if you don't have a gas mask on, please make your pocket plus willpower to stop from throwing up immediately. I was moved in here against my will. I was <laughs> at the altar. I okay. did not move to where are you the not door. in this room. No. Okay. All right, what are you guys doing? Uh, uh, Gangle and Mac are daring each other to open the <laughs> sarcophagus in the middle. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's a levitate spell to lift up the uh, lid of the sarcophagus. Can you give me a refresher on the levitate spell? How much can you lift up the five successes? Um, 200, uh, 200 kilograms per hit. It creaks and moans. It slowly it rises up. Uh, there's literal dust like falling around the sides. This thing has not been opened in millennia. And I soak the drain. Uh, did I see anything with my four besides just dead bodies? There are dead bodies, and around the walls of the room, there are coffins. Some of them are open. Uh, they appear okay. to have bodies in them. I got uh, six hits on visual perception when we entered the room. Yep, you see the same thing? Okay. Are you going to just hover the lid, or are you going to move it aside? Yeah, I'm going to lift it up, move it to the side, uh, lower it down. It lowers to the ground with a massive thud, sending up dust. Inside the coffin is a mummified corpse. It is clutching both of its hands to its chest. And the scarab? You don't see it. How much do you want to bet that it's like buried in the in the mummy? It's like it's 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 in one of these, just like to the side. <laughs> <laughs> it the was just there the whole time. The, the it was in the first room the whole time. You just didn't see it. The perfect hey. security system is you get a um you get just this high tech um top of the line save with just. You know, all the bells and whistles claim to be uncrackable. Then put all your valuable stuff in a nondescript shoebox next to it. It was just, yeah. it was just in the body, in the, in the room full of bodies. It was just under all the bodies. No. You're rolling knowledge of ancient booby traps. Hell yeah! <laughs> all right. You would wager that this is in fact a trap. Of no! Some, of some description. You have no idea what, but this setup is far too much like one of those trades that you've watched. There we go. 
between between all the trades I've been watching lately and you know talking with with Dr. Ford, I don't know, man. This seems kind of shady. Oh, do you have Dr. Ford as a contact? I do. Oh, that is good. Same. All right. <laughs> there is a mummy. It has its hands clutched to its chest. What are you doing? Inspect the chest itself. No, not the the sarcophagus itself. Try to someone try to lift its hands up off the. Uh, <laughs> we just figured out it was a trap. <laughs> Maybe it could be a trap. It's probably a trap. Uh, maybe wait before we do it. Damn it! This is why D and D adventurers carry around ten foot poles. Or a steam so, drive. You have a ten foot pole, Cinder. <laughs> it's on fire, though. Also, remember your magic. You can see magic. You maybe should see uh, magic. Right, right. Um, I can do that, can't I? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna spend another magic, service assessing. What the fuck? All right. Um, can I extend that? Yes. Sensing? Alright. You can extend a sensing test, but okay. This thing is fucking magic. Do a stabby thing. The mummy is really magic. Whatever is inside the mummy is really freaking magic. So, should we just take the entire body with us and then tell the guy that his um, scarab is in there and he can go get it? <laughs> okay. Do you like, have I'm 20k? Done. Do you have yeah, 20k? You know, that, that, that sounds because like... we don't have enough money to get to bribe the guy, the, the borders guy, the customs. Yeah, that is a problem. So, uh, cutting the body up? <laughs> Call the J, tell him we need bribe money. <laughs> I'm going to bring it back to the mummy. You can't really get um, calm reception this far underground. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I mean, we can carry the the body to the, the whole thing to the surface or just... Yeah. Feel and free to carry the body to the surface. I won't yeah. carry that thing. I won't touch it. We don't thing. have to touch it. All right, I'm going to start writing on the board now. So, okay, so this thing is trapped, possibly. Did anyone actually see any weird... Uh, Traps like things on it. Uh, I wrote, but I didn't get an answer so far. So I th I'm going to guess that the whole sarcophagus weighs more than 400 kilograms. It weighs a lot more. It's solid stone. Okay. Guess he was nothing. Spur out. Actually, 400 slowly kilograms cutting is 881 pounds. Wait, hold on. Before you start messing with it, I'll take a look at it, I guess. Get all eyes Does on Does anyone actually want to examine the coffin to see That's if there are physically doing. traps? That's what we've <laughs> No one has like, done that yet. No, Gun Girl tried. Okay. She didn't do very well. I'm trying now. Okay. I, I tried and got four hits because that's my mental limit. Did I try to conserve my edge for... Uh, I'm actually going to use edge for that one. I got five. You can see there are some incredibly thin wires across of it. Check out those thin wires, y'all. <laughs> They're strung across the top of... You cut out again. They are strung across the, the uh, like, right under the lid. So they're above the mummy, and there's a lot of them. Hmm. Uh, 
It's the wires that are just like mildly magical. The mummy is magical. It's it's just like spring loaded. So if you treat the wires like and by seeing <laughs> wires, I mean the only way you're seeing them is by the dust hitting them occasionally. Holy shit! It's like monofilament shit. Which is really strange considering how old this is. Yeah, you were close to being done. Okay, because I, I have, like, I need to go, like, in the next five to ten minutes. Okay. Well, it's it's um strange, but yet not, because, like, there's dead people down here still, and we found a bunch of dead people on our way here, so... Yeah. Apologies, yeah, Patty. I didn't expect to delay about an hour, but, you know, things happened. Technical difficulties, people having to leave, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you do have to leave, I will, um... Okay, send you I've got and you will gain an idea. I'm gonna grab an arm off one of the corpses and poke the wires with the severed arm. Sound good? No. <laughs> I don't, don't have we, a better idea. Why don't we follow the wires to wherever they go? They are just strung across the top. That's it? They're just yep. Yeah, that's... Here's what we do. I shoot one from very far away and no one else is around and we see what happens. You're shooting a thin wire? Yes, I will take all the call shot penalties. I will take a minus 10. Are you going to shoot the mummy too? No, yeah. it's one of the wires. But you're like shooting into the sarcophagus. No, I'll, shoot, I'll shoot along the top. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> okay. Out, I'll hear this, I'm man. going to wait outside the room. With me? I'm still at the fucking altar. <laughs> Does anyone have common sense? No. No, we don't. This is all this horrible sounding. <laughs> yeah, this. Uh, th 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 I don't My common sense is if he's going to do that, I'm out of the room. Like. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good common sense. I'm gonna stand right here. I'm gonna shoot and run. Gun girl, get back. Yeah, gun girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll gun girl. Room back. <laughs> like, okay. I mean, I don't know. Would you guys know if the if that thin wire was like magical or not? Like, I don't know. I'm just gonna try and shoot one and see what happens. Um, what's the call shot penalty gonna be to hit this? You're shooting one filament wire. The call shot penalty is gonna be minus ten. Easy peasy. <laughs> um, where's Plink when you need? You probably hit a wire. It's really hard to tell from this distance. Does anything happen as I run out of the room? <laughs> you hear a laughing sound. A what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it's pretty much like that. I and did call the whole laughing skeleton. And it disappears. Like and that? nothing else happens. I hate this country. Uh, I love this country. I'm trying to see <laughs> if I have anything that can actually work against monofilament, but, like, no. So... Okay, hey, is that, is it actually... I walk up to the coffin, pull out a knife, and cut the wires. That works perfectly fine. You people. I was gonna... But like, I figured, like, I figured, like <laughs> once it wasn't blowing up, it'd be okay to cut everything. Hey, see, guys? I did something, and it worked, and nothing else bad happened. I shot the bad spirit. <laughs> all right. There's now a mummy <laughs> without monofilament wires all over it. Yeah, that mummy was... <laughs> The spirit that possessed that woman in the back like possessed the monofilament wires, and then after that was like, I can't anymore. All right, Fraggot, I've had enough of this place. I just grab the mummy into a f and haul it out of here in a fireman's carry. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I have to figure out what I want to do right now. <laughs> okay. Um, are you still channeling the spirit? Yeah. Okay, you lit the mummy on fire. Why? <laughs> it's still, a mummy and it's dry and it's abandoned. Right. I kind of forgot about that. 
<laughs> You're um, carrying a I'm gonna put the mummy down on the ground. Uh, then burning? dismiss the f a step back and dismiss the fire spirit. Okay. And hello wound modifiers. Yeah, it's totally burning right now. It's burning really hot. Oh, uh, that's supposed to be smothering it. Right. I'm, I'm mothering it. <laughs> It's okay, mommy. I, mean, I, still I don't love you. doubt Calvin would try to mother it, but I mean, hen. you know the, the 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 thing we're after is made of stone, so it'll be fine. Probably. Let me starting to get up. Yeah, I'm trying Great. to put. I'm trying to put this fire out, and if the mummy's trying to get up, that's fine. I'm still trying to put the fire out. The mummy's it's getting all up. right. It's all right. We're we're taking care of you. Shh. All right, I am going to need everyone to do some stuff for me. Because I didn't expect you to light the mummy on fire. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> Cinder, you keep derailing everything. Stop it. I, 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 told, I, I told you, things just kind of catch fire around here. Everyone, you. roll your charisma plus willpower. Oh, okay. Everyone? Oh, shit. You all want to run <laughs> really bad. Run. I actually can't. Wolf spirit, yo. What does wolf spirit prevent you from doing? Flee in combat. Uh, do you have to make a roll to attempt to flee combat? I will uh, intentionally fail my combat. roll. <laughs> and here's the reason because why no fear is a real good drug. And as soon as you are a few meters away, you suddenly all stop wanting to run. Oh. Huh. Uh, did I get hit? I'm, I'm in the other... Oh, oop. I deleted my token. <laughs> nice go. <laughs> okay, Mac is shooting the mummy in the face. Well, after... I shot it, I shot it before, but I don't think you saw that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had seven hits on that one. Okay, if the mummy is... it stood up, I shot the zombie in the face. Okay. You know what? This is this is taking too long, and we've already ruined the body by shooting it in the face. I'm going to use my spurs and like start cutting around wherever this thing is that it's holding on to. As this soon as you... Okay, I'm trying to do so many things at once right now. It dodges your shot. Okay, um... As soon as you try to enter near it, roll your willpower plus charisma. The zombie's like dodging shots. I'm so done with this zombie. <laughs> roll your willpower plus charisma, Calvin. So, because it's on oh fire, God. it's taking uh, three damage every combat turn and. <laughs> Generating eight every, every combat and turn. Every time, uh, and with every combat turn, the damage increases by one. It's regenerating eight before rolls every combat turn. It's not even fighting you. It's just telling you guys to run, and you're listening, if you get close enough to it. I shot it in the face again for eight this time. Okay, are you going to keep shooting it in the face until you successfully shoot it in the face? I'm How did gonna... you dodge me before? What? It's it's standing up. Oh, then yes, I'm gonna shoot in the face. Okay, it's not gonna attempt to attack you. It will eventually get shot in the face. I'm not gonna make you keep rolling for that. Does it die? You assume it dies. Uh, well, I was actually gonna try and ask it if we could just have it scared and leave. Yeah, no one ever. Yeah, he he shot it in the face. Does anyone? <laughs> The fire is going to start to die down. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to improv right now. I, I really don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I love this. 
I punch I punch the mummy in the face. <laughs> Fire. It does not regenerate from spirit from my damage that I deal to it now. Hey. I keep punching it until it will not move, till it no longer has a face. Okay. Well, I was trying to talk to it after we you shot can it. See, as you're but... punching it, its face has a smile on it. Well, not promise. not for long. Not well, until I can have a that face makes for sense. Long. I mean, you know, it's got I and mean, it's very dried out, so you know the skin would peel back. Yeah. I mean, it might not even have lips anymore. So you know, skull grin. It's a very terrifying skull grin. Also, Mac, oh yeah, you already actually you've already put it down. Okay, um, it doesn't it doesn't have a face anymore, and it's no longer on fire because it's presumably been a bit. How do you guess to me? Not uh, touching the orb. Let's find that scarab. Let's cut is its it like, chest open, I guess. Is, is it done done? Because if it's done done, then let's just get the freaking scarab and get out. This is dumb. <laughs> it is not moving anymore. It no longer has a head. I don't, I'm don't. i going to cut its hands off first, okay. and then I'm going to cut it open. Inside of its stomach is a metal, it's a metal stone scarab. I'm going to use my blade to, like, knock it into, like, my bag. All right. You can totally do that. And I'm going to... I ask everyone, everyone to leave the room as I pee on the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, does Wolf Spirit just make you pee on stuff, or is that you? <laughs> That's because Max saw one episode of Venture Bros and thinks it's what you do to mummies. Oh, okay. Logic too. It, it, he's not a good, <laughs> not a very good, like, magic threat hunter. I, part of me is like, oh my god, it's almost like. I'm not even going to say it. She just walks away. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you guys exiting? Yes. yes. All right. Let me get the ground floor ready. Okay. I need to do some stuff. Because you people. I, you may do not throw me into this. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, if there are like if there's like an army upstairs, Mac is just gonna like start trying to intimidate them, doing the dumbest shit you've ever seen. Yes, there are. All right, I'm about to move you all upstairs. Highlights of the game. Mac peed on a lot of mummies, dude. <laughs> I peed on two. two. Well, that's, that's definitely more than zero mummies that I have peed on. <laughs> uh, uh. And there's more people out here. They're all dead. Uh oh. You These guys left like the door open. Oh. oh, that's true. We did. Oh, well. Oh, well, yeah, because we're not going to get locked there are inside. Two new armored vans, and they are filled with dead people. Perfect. We have our own van now. So, wait, <laughs> no, but we got to return the truck, man. Oh, yeah. It's on my sin. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. So, what the fuck killed these people? That's a great question. Probably zombies we're not that got gonna out. stay and find out. We are gonna uh, something we're not getting paid to care about. Let's go. Be true. <laughs> it's just true. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna assume you guys get in the cart and are hauling ass to the airport. Yes. Uh, no. We're hauling ass to the hotel to pick up our collars, and then we're going to the airport. Correct. Yes. Yes. And right, the rest right. of our luggage. And, yeah, and before we even leave, I know we want to get the hell out of Dodge, but I'm looking for like a crate that we can put this stupid thing in in case we need to. I mean, Unless, our package okay. isn't checked anyway, so. No, no, just, yeah. Just, yeah. Put, just put it in my bag. The, okay. Yeah. Oh, and, and, uh, look at it and say, oh, we, we killed a wild animal here. Here's some money. Don't look at it. Goodbye. 
True. Yeah, genau. Gungo wants a shower. Oh, oh right. I'm covered in gore. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need a... Uh, give me your badge, please. I'm the only one not covered in gore. Like, I could drive and then You can guys are driving back. into Cairo covered in gore. They can hide. I, can I actually brought a change of clothes with me, so I could I try to change. Now. Oh shit! Oh fuck oh. me! Does that does that shitty tower have a shower? I'm sure this building has a shower. It doesn't. Where the fuck did the wor workers shower? They don't. Oh. I would. There, I would just be like, thing? I'm going home. All right, you guys get enough hits. You make it. You're pu you're pulled up in front of the hotel. How do you want to handle this? I'm gonna bring us. I back. turn all of us invisible. <laughs> I can go return the car in the meantime. Okay. Just, oh wait, no one has common sense. I forgot. Okay. No. One of us isn't covered in gore, so I turn the one of us that isn't covered in gore. Um, okay. All of roll us me a memory that. check. Please, Cinder. They have secret agents around the building looking uh, for us. That they a sense. Mac is just gonna stroll in uh, and say, "We killed a mighty lion today." And head yeah, you there. know what? Fuck it. Let's just walk in, covered in gore. I don't even care. There are people <laughs> stopping and just staring. I'm returning the car. You're tracking blood on the uh, the carpets inside. I was the gonna find like dried? a bathhouse or something. Wait, wait, you know? the blood hasn't dried? We've been in the sun for like three yeah. hours. It's nighttime. Fine. Uh, it still would have dried by now. You were soaked. It was an entire room of blood. I'm gonna give him that. Like so I'm gonna like try and help uh <laughs> sell the story of we killed a lion. <laughs> okay. You guys are able to shower. Eight there are hours. people just standing outside of the hotel. Just just confused. Okay, so let's see. I'm lying. Can I roll negotiation for that? <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, I want money back. I we only use it for a few hours. We didn't use it for the full week. Uh they might take the money out as like a deposit because there's blood all over the car. I'm not letting them see the car. I'm returning the car and I'm going to haggle. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not going to haggle. Okay. I'm uh, just going to leave like, oh, here's your car. Okay, bye. All right. You're a the cover and you're able to convince them that that's actually what happened. <laughs> yes. It's not a lion. It's a strobe lion. <laughs> Doctor, I am a dentist. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Okay. So you have called the bus, correct? Yes. Once we're all showered, yes, I am calling the bus. Center and or while you're showering? Cinder and Mac, are you putting your collars on? Yes, we're putting them back on. Oh, we're using the, you know, the jammer. You're using the jammer, correct? Yeah. yeah. Roll me your reaction plus agility. Okay, I think I think Mac's gone into a bloodlust. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit. Okay, you're both able to get your collars on. Alright. About half an hour later, the bus pulls up outside. Getting my bags and Max back in yep. and... Yep, Sir, both that's... my bags. Sir, that was an excellent, an excellent hunt. The way that you took down that line was majestic. <laughs> Let's get back in the car. <laughs> Do we get? I'm like trying to make. I'm trying to sell it. Sweet, I'm trying to sell it. You all get in the in the bus. Yeah, it was driving. She's completely silent. That sits, you know. You are stopped car. at the uh, the airport gate. 
a similar pair, you know, the two guards in the full body armor and the guy in the armor jacket. They board. We're leaving. What the fuck are they going to ask? Then the guy in the armor jacket freezes. (laughs) And runs out of the car. He's sensing the goddamn case. Or the case is telling him to run. Oh, maybe. He then collapses. Well, you cut out, but I'm assuming he collapses. He He collapses collapses on the ground outside. The two cards look at each other and slowly back out of the car. In Arabic, I'm like, your friend doesn't look so good. Are we let through the gate? The gate opens. (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) Gonna get blown out of the air by Sam's, but, you know. I was gonna go over there and stab him with a palming roll. Damn it. (laughs) Just go up his... Can we take off uh, for the things now? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Yes. The bus driver says, those are off now. Okay, I take take it off and throw it out the window. Aye, why'd you waste it? That was a good one. Because fuck this place. (laughs) (laughs) You know, we didn't waste it. They can come pick it up later, okay? When they get their friends who react. You hear a small pop behind you. Okay, I guess we're not picking it up later. Let's just go. <laughs> Patty, are you going to take yours off since that one just popped? I just threw it. Okay. I just threw it at the jackass. I'm oh, you do, a, do a hit. <laughs> you don't hit the jackass. <laughs> I'm edging that. Oh, wait, okay. You hit the jackass and then it explodes. <laughs> His pants are now on fire. We get on the airplane and just... <laughs> You get you get on the airplane and fly home. Yes. Let's go to the meet. About ten hours later, <laughs> you're landing back in Seattle. I'm gonna try and take a nap during this because this is all been crazy. Me too. <laughs> it's the middle of the night as well, so. All right. Yes! Now you can sleep. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are landing at the airport. Uh-huh. You're gonna give uh-huh. or contact a call. And I call Ricky, we don't get checked, we go and we find the Johnson. Yep. Well, yeah, as we as have to call the Johnson. As soon as we land, I'm calling Dr. J. Like, we have your package. You, you got it? Really? Yes. Co- Shoot, Seattle youths, they're not gonna, they're gonna see that coming a mile off. Uh, here, meet me at, meet me at my apartment. He oh, sends you coordinates for an apartment. It's pretty close to the airport. Okay. <laughs> it's just like in a warehouse. And Patty, you are calling Dr. Ford. I need to go pull up Dr. Ford's sheet. <laughs> Could you uh, describe it for me? Uh, it's like round, and it came out of a mummy, and it made us all run away. And it's a scarab. And it's a scarab. It's a beetle-looking thing. Right. Can't you just and take then, a picture and, and send it? Yeah, I take a picture and send it to him. Just Snapchat it. This just looks like a, any old Egyptian artifact. I, oh come on, that's not a uh, that's not an Indiana Jones impression. I'm not doing an Indiana Jones impression because <laughs> well, I can't. Then... <laughs> well, Ford isn't Indiana Jones; it's the other guy. It's Sean Connery. That was yeah, a terrible impression. He's he's, he's Doctor Jones Senior. I I mean, you could bring this to the museum, but. It really... We, we already have quite a lot like this. Did so, you steal uh, this? Of course not. Me? Steal? Come on, Forty. You know me better than that, lad. Just go back to bed. It's, it's early in the morning for ya. Uh, yeah, Yeah, it, it is pretty much three in the morning. Go back to sleep. We'll go kill the blood mages later. <laughs> Alright. Are you guys going to the apartment? 
Yes. Oh, yes, we're actually. going to the apartment. Let's go since to Dr. the apartment. Since Dr. Ford didn't buy our story of it's a crazy artifact, then yes, we're going to the apartment. When you arrive there, it's a fairly standard what you consider a wage slave apartment. Uh, the address he gave you is on the fifth floor. You're able to make your way up pretty much no problem. You get a few weird looks, but honestly, it's not the nicest part of town, so there really isn't that much strange about wearing the clothing you are. Okay, Matt <laughs> flips them off. All right. Really? I you arrive at the door. I knock on the door. Up, I'm coming. Uh, but we let the faces in first? No, you're, you're the one that has the artifact fucking. The door opens and a sleepy looking man. We got you your thing, give us, our mo give us the yeah. money. Wait, no, come inside, come inside. What? <laughs> no, come on. Fine. I, I need to verify that this is the artifact, of course. Spurn up, you God damn it. Could, could you please hand... I, I assume you didn't touch it. No. Is he going to take us inside and bad touch us? Can we roll in judge intentions? Yes, you Before can. I just did. Is he going to bad touch us? Does he have like a greedy glint in his eye and like licking his lips like, hey, come inside. Ugh. No, he looks pretty much curious and excited. I drop the bag on the on the Doctor Johnson. Could you please get you know, paid? Let me verify the artifact. Just one second. The payment's held in escrow. Don't worry. He moves. He carefully re removes the bag from around the scarab stone, trying to not touch it. <laughs> okay. Well, wow. Uh, he reaches out and grabs it. His eyes roll back in his head, and then they roll back forward in about a second. Your payment is an escrow. Thank you. Uh, I will keep you in my books if you keep me in yours. I may and need the uh, bonus for returning the artifact intact. Oh, of course. Um, I think I'll be able to spare an extra two thousand five hundred new yen. That that should cover it, right? You you do use new yen, right? Yes. Of course, right? Definitely. If you don't mind, I have some business to take care of. <laughs> so did like fight. My judging, my judging intentions, I'm like, did this old man just get possessed? He absolutely did. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm out. And it seemed like he wanted to, so, you know what? Frag it. Let's go home. Yeah, like, as we're, as we're getting ready to leave, I'm just like, I hope you two are very happy with each other, and I just walk out. <laughs> so like, we I'm not being get threatened. him as a contact? I'm like, Were you saying that? I'm uh, so tempted to shoot this guy in the face. You have no idea. Oh my god! If you shoot him in the face, we are going into another combat. Oh no! God, no, 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 no! Never no, mind that. No, 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 give us karma. <laughs> shut up! No, shut up! No combat. Give us karma. Okay. You're each gonna get. What was the uh, mission expenses taking off from each of you? I think Calvin calculated that. Yeah, so uh, it's with the expenses, without the extra cash for coming in, with uh, it being intact, we would have had 15400 but with the extra twenty five, we all get uh, 17.9. And you're each of karma. Hmm? And we... You're each going to get five karma. Okay. Yay! I initially was going to have less. How did we do a good thing here? Um, we killed a bunch of bad people. We did a good people. thing here, mostly because I didn't realize how balls to the ball cinder was going to go. <laughs> oh. Also because you burned down the freaking place. And because I didn't kill the first people. 
No, they're very dead. We were trying to but be I good. Didn't kill them. You indirectly killed them. Okay, Doesn't but we count. We were okay. trying. So, two things. Because, wow, that was different than how I expected. First things first. Um, yes, you did just release a... Okay, first of all, who was the person who said that they knew what this was? This, this was the Master Shedim. This was a Force 8 Master Shedim. Fucking knew it. <laughs> I've read about it in media and it's like, yeah, no, you, does anybody know what it's like? They're Master Shedim, we're fucking Russell, terrifying. Yeah. There were a few normal ones. There was one other master, but it was only Force 5. And there were some zombies. Okay, so, a few things. You could have lowered the force of it by... Okay, you could have lowered the force of it by not shooting her and letting her instead grab the stone. Uh, this is going to be a one-time plot, so I'll just... Oh, you can end the stream if you want. Camera drone.